Now we're going to install a hard drive on our MPC2500. I have one right here. This is my Seagate. It's a 3.5 hard drive. This is 40 gigs. Let's install it. First, I want to remove the screws. We have two screws to remove. One here and one here on our front panel. Now here's our blank space. This fills the space up here for our CD. We want to install CD-ROM into our MPC. So first we remove our screws. Another screw on the right side. Okay, we have three more screws to remove. We have one here, one here, and one here. Now once our screws are removed, this plate on top comes right off. And the blank plate that's placed here for the CD-ROM to be installed right in here can be removed also. As you can see, there's one extra screw hole. See that hole right there? That hole lines up with this hole for right here where the plate goes in. See? And then we're ready to install our hard drive. Now to install the hard drive, there's a little chassis built in right here. We have two screws to remove. One screw, the next screw. Next, we can pull our chassis out, just like that. Now watch this, this is very simple. We get our hard drive, here's a hard drive. Put it here on our plate. We put it firmly in, and it goes right into the bank right there, see that? Next. We'll use the four screws that came with our MPC and screw them right here to hold the hard drive in before we place it back in to our slot like that. So now I'm screwing in the last screw right here. This is the last screw. Have all four screws in. Make sure they're tight enough. My hard drive's in the chassis. Tight. Ready to go. Next, we slide it in. Make sure it connects. We're going to make sure that the back, these connect right into the slot, the back here. I'm in. Now replace these two screws and the front piece. Now I'm still the last screw here on my chassis. Make sure it's firmly in. And now my hard drive's right there on the chassis, and I'm ready to go. Okay. Now I want to cover up this part for my CD drive which I'll install later on and I want to put back on the faceplate make sure you line it up properly and we're good to go okay now I'm gonna check to make sure my hard drive is working I'll press mode then I'll press pad 2 for load and now we see our memory card and now we see the hard drive now we know it's ready and we're ready to go